Hi guys, so today I wanted to review this Ayuga Charging Electric Eyelash Color which I was so excited to get and it was not available online so I went to a physical store to get it and I've used it a couple of times but I just wanted to do a comparison with how I normally curl my eyelashes and then we can see if you know you think it's worth it to get a heated eyelash curler which I think is so extra I've opened the box before but just to quickly show you it's very nice and sleek and it looks very much like an iPhone case and it says release your inner beauty and the funny thing is that the box is actually quite hard to open which is accurate because it is hard to release your inner beauty especially when you have straight Asian lashes so in the box there is basically the eyelash curler the cable to charge it which uh, has a USB hit there's also the little pamphlet manual as well as a small plasticky brush just to help clean up your color and there's a little tag with the barcode number of your product because I think there is a one year warranty which is great you know because in case it dies on you you have that and just moving on to the actual eyelash color oh I think it's so pretty okay let me see if I can focus it I'm sorry but it's 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 relatively weighty considering the size and I think the color is so nice and it just looks so so sleek and so pretty it looks like if I bought a very expensive mascara so maybe we can talk a little bit about what the company promises so on their website it says that you can achieve natural looking curls and long lashes that last throughout the day with just a gentle and slow sweep of the heated eyelash color so the wand is supposed to make it easy so that even people with short lashes can curl their lashes using the heated comb and you basically have two temperature settings one at 65 degrees and one at 85 degrees so obviously if you want maybe a stronger hold you would go for the higher temperature one and yeah if you look at the wand it's not actually like a traditional eyelash color where for example you have to use something to like clamp it it's just a wand and then there's a little heating rod that runs through it so you're just supposed to sweep sweep so for this video i want to test out the heated eyelash color with my regular eyelash color and i'm going to be doing this first without mascara and then with mascara so this is just to give you guys an idea of what my uncurled lashes look like and right now I'm just gonna curl them as per usual with my manual eyelash curler. So I've curled one side of my eyelashes and if this doesn't show you the difference that curling your eyelashes can make, I mean, come on. So now I'm gonna try the heated eyelash curler on my right eye and I'm gonna just click this button twice to heat it up to the higher heat setting of 85 degrees just because I want it to heat it up really nice and quick the way you know that this has heated up is if that little red tip at the end of the rod turns white so that's pretty cool so based on my timer it took around like a minute and a half to heat up to the point where the ball starts to turn white so that's how you know the rod has heated all the way through and I'm gonna curl my natural lashes at the higher degree setting and it's not hot, I don't think this is a heat hazard at all. Um, it might be a bit disconcerting putting something so warm on your eye, but it's quite relaxing and yeah, I'm just gonna curl my lashes without mascara. So as you can see here, it kind of takes a bit of getting used to. What I'm essentially doing is pressing my eyelashes against my eyelid almost just to try to make them curl upwards and towards the end, I'm kind of getting impatient. I'm really just holding it against my eyelid for a longer time to get a more dramatic effect. Okay, so as you can see, there is quite a difference. The one where I used a manual eyelash color, it's definitely a lot more obvious. The curl on the heated eyelash color side is a lot more subtle and gentle. Um which is a little bit disappointing but with that said you are supposed to use the heated eyelash color with 
mascara so now that there's mascara on because I want to compare how they work on top of mascara I'm gonna use a manual one on my left eye and I never do this I really don't recommend ever curling your eyelashes like this on top of mascara just because I feel like you can yank some out oh, but I'll do it for the sake of this experiment Okay, I know the mirror is blocking my curling, but wow, you can really see the fear on my face while I'm doing this. Oh, wow, now the difference looks even crazier, but I'm gonna use the heater one on the right eye. So again, on top of the mascara, I'm just doing the exact same motion. And at this point, I had already gotten used to the heat, so I'm just straight up pressing it up against my eyelid in my best attempts to lift them up. So here are the results. My right eye is the Ayuga eye and here's just a clip of my completely natural eyelashes for comparison. So after going through that whole ordeal, do I think that this does a better job of curling than this? Um, I mean, when you look at the results, answer is obviously no. But do I still think that this is worth it? Um, well, I would say for $17.90, it is quite affordable for a beauty gadget that you can keep recharging and recharging. And generally, I'm someone who is quite concerned about my lash health. Um, I like condition them with a castor oil every night because I want them to be strong. Because I do find that my lashes tend to fall out, so I feel very like unsettled if I just keep like crimping my eyelashes every day which is why you should never do it with mascara on and I only did it today because of science I think this is super gentle you're just sweeping sweeping through the lashes there's no tugging or pinching and even if you use it without mascara I do think it does leave quite a subtle curl which I can appreciate yeah I think if you're someone who has very weak lashes this is something worth investing in and if you have very short lashes that can't be like grabbed onto I think this is another good option um, the only thing you need to get used to is the way you use it and the heat but even so the highest setting of 85 degrees is super manageable um, if you've ever gotten like styes or swollen eyes and you have to do a hot compress I think that is so much more like hot and in your face compared to this which is very subtle and gentle it's almost quite relaxing but yeah so those are my opinions on the ayuga heated eyelash color if you happen to get a heated eyelash color yourself or you get one from ayuga do let me know what your experience is on the website the reviews are pretty good uh, maybe i just haven't cracked the code on how to use it to get a super dramatic lash but yes, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and a subscribe. And if you have any comments on heated eyelash colors, please let me know. Bye!